What's up, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, Tobias. Today, y'all, we are back out on the smoker once again. And as y'all already know, I told y'all, I've become really obsessed with the company Tacticalories. This is not sponsored, but I bought a lot of their products, so I'm taking this opportunity to try out a lot of different things. So today, we are cooking on our smoker some chicken thighs. But I'm going to be making, okay, a spicy peach whiskey barbecue smoked chicken okay let me let me let me let me let me run that down one more time i am making a spicy peach whiskey barbecue smoked chicken thigh today okay so let's get in the kitchen let's get everything prepped so that we can get this in the smoker you want to make sure you have your smoker preheated at 275 degrees and let's ride Alright y'all, let's talk ingredients. So of course you guys know I'm gonna come in straight out the gate with the duck fat cooking oil spray because that is a game changer. And for our base layer, we're gonna be using the Killer Hogs All Purpose Seasoning. And then like I said, we're gonna be trying out two different things today from Tactic Calories. The first of which is the Bosco Blend. I'm really looking forward to trying this out to see how I like it. And then of course, the king of the show, the sauce. This is the Pissed Off Peach Whiskey Barbecue. Now this is spicy and let me tell you, it has great flavor and great great spice. So if you're a spice lover, you'll love this. Now, I found these chicken thighs on sale. I got this entire pack for I think maybe only like six or seven dollars. So I kind of lucked out with that. Make sure that your chicken is fully washed and then you want to pat it down dry. You're going to go in with a light spritz of your duck fat spray. Don't get overzealous with it. A little bit does go a long way. And like I said, for that base layer, we're going to go in with the Killer Hogs all-purpose seasoning. This all-purpose seasoning is a basic garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. So if you don't have that, Literally just put all of the things I just said on it and you'll be completely fine. Um, so once we get that done, we're then going to go in with the Tacticalories Bosco Blend. Now this you can go a little bit heavier on, but just make sure no matter what you do that you're putting your seasoning on nice and even. You don't want to end up with clumps of seasoning in one bite. So just make sure that you're taking your time here and really evening it out. You don't need to rub it in. You'll be able to just pat it down. That duck fat spray um, will make sure that everything adheres. So don't go rubbing it around. That's unnecessary. Um, and then we're just going to repeat the exact same process. Once you get all of the seasoning, Seasoning on the top, we're gonna flip it over, do the exact same thing. Put your duck fat spray, then the all-purpose seasoning, and then more of the Bosco blend. Now, just so you guys know, I decided that I wanted to marinate these overnight. So I will definitely say, based on my reaction to this when I did do the taste test, that marinating it was absolutely a great idea. But if you don't have time to marinate it, I would say at least try to do it maybe one or two hours beforehand. You really wanna make sure that this seasoning has time to really steep down into that chicken. So that's just what I did. So now that we have our chicken nice and seasoned, um, we're getting ready to go outside, but I just wanted to mention, uh, I have this chicken sitting on a stainless steel wire rack. We're gonna be smoking it on this rack because it's gonna make it a lot easier for transport because it's gonna become very, very tender later on down the line. Let's rock. So y'all, we've allowed that chicken to marinate overnight and it is looking bomb. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pop these inside of our smoker, like I said, at 275. These should take, you know, roughly maybe around two hours, maybe a little bit less, but we'll keep checking for the temp. You know, the minimum temp should be 165. I always like to push for about 170, 175. So let's get these in the smoker. All right, now, just so you guys are aware, because I'm going to be cooking multiple things in my smoker today, I'm actually gonna be putting my chicken thighs on the bottom shelf because I do not want any of the chicken juice dropping down on anything else. So I'm gonna put it on this bottom shelf here and then I'm also gonna spread it out just a little bit so that this chicken can have its own little room to cook. And as you guys can see, I'm actually keeping it on this rack just because it'll be a lot easier for me to transport. But I wanna make sure that I'm giving each of the chicken thighs their own little space so that it can crisp up just the way we want it. So I'm gonna push this back in and let it ride. All right, y'all, so it's been one hour so far. So let's go in and let's check on our chicken just to see how it's doing, see how it's looking. The chicken is looking pretty bomb. 
as you can see all of that seasoning is definitely settling on there just the way we want it it's not drying out so we can go on ahead and close that back up and let it keep doing its thing Alrighty y'all, so we've had these in for about an hour and 45 minutes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and check this big one in the back because that's the biggest one. And I want to see if our temp has got to about 165. We're going to go with the thickest part. It's actually reading about 180. So these are definitely done. I'll check one more here. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're in business here. These are all reading about 170, 175. So I'm gonna go on ahead and actually get these sauced up right now. And like I said, we're gonna go in with the Tactic Calories Pissed Off Peach, the Whiskey Barbecue. This is spicy, so let's get these bad boys sauced up. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna glaze these bad boys up. Like I said, this is the Spicy Peach Whiskey Barbecue Sauce from Tactic Calories. And let me tell you something, this sauce smells insane. I mean, the flavor coming from just the sauce alone smells very intense. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying one of these bad boys out. Like I said, I'm going to get these glazed up and I'm going to put these back in our smoker for an additional maybe 15, 20 minutes or so until that sauce is set on there to my liking. I'm going to pour just a little bit more sauce in here because we really want these bad boys to be fully coated. And I might do one more layer. Just depends on how I feel. Let's get these bad boys sauced up. Yes, sir. I hope all of you all are enjoying your day. Hopefully some of y'all are going to get outside and cook on your grill today or on your smoker. Yes, sir. -y. Yes, sir. All right, back into the smoker they go, and I'll see y'all when these bad boys are all done, and it's time for that taste test. So I've had these back in, like I said, y'all. It's been about another 20 minutes or so. I'm just gonna go in and give them another light coating of this delicious sauce. Put them back in, let them keep on riding until it's to my liking at this point, because these are definitely fully cooked at this stage. But I, you know, I definitely want to make sure that we get that sauce nice and caked and coated on there. Not too much, a little bit does go a long way. This sauce is definitely spicy as hell. So, you know, we don't want to get too, too crazy with it, you know what I mean? I mean, come on, y'all. Look, look at this chicken. I mean, this chicken looks absolutely insane. Can y'all see that? Look at how bomb this chicken looks. And this is hot as hell. But I wanted y'all to get a good close-up shot of how bomb this peach, spicy peach, whiskey barbecue chicken turned out. Y'all know it's time for us to go in for that taste test. Let's do it. All right, y'all, here we go. Time to go in for that taste test. This is about to be hot as hell. Mmm. Mmm. Baby. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This chicken is cooked to perfection. The seasoning is spot on. That sauce is absolutely amazing. Look, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today. All in all, I cooked these at 275 for about two hours and 25 minutes in my smoker. I used a maple wood pellet today. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. If you guys like what you saw, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Make sure y'all subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified. And as always, y'all keep it grilling.